Hello, uh, I'm Todd Zarwell. I'm the uh, developer of this uh, tutorial at iScholar.com, and um, I, uh, I've been working in my yard all day, and I'm really gross, and I thought I'd take a shower and put on a nice shirt and a lab coat and make uh, some nice tutorials uh, in a well-lit place, and uh, I started thinking, you know, the whole per point of this tutorial is to be able to learn in uh, comfortable situations or when you get a chance and not have to go somewhere and be somewhere specific. And I thought maybe uh, I can justify making a, a video uh, showing this off that way too. So I'm going to put on my sunglasses, not because I'm cool, but because they're, they're prescription and I can't see my screen very well without it. So um, yeah, today why don't we go over a uh, simulated retinoscopy patient. So I'm going to hit the simulator, and uh, I've just did a minus cell tutorial, so let me do a plus cell tutorial. And I'm going to just go with a random patient. I could specify what type of patient I wanted. I could even type in the exact prescription for my patient, but I'm just going to um, take a random patient, and we'll see what fate throws at us here. Oh, my son just came out. What? Oh, I'm doing a tutorial. Oh, and, oh, okay. Oh, the dogs came up. So that's the hazards of, uh, okay, you'll have to excuse me. Okay, so my son uh, interrupted here, and now he let the dogs out, so. Okay, let's see how we'd how this goes here. Okay, so where was I? Uh, so we're uh, yeah, doing a plus cylinder retinoscopy. And, uh, you know, we can do this with trial lenses, so that is an option. And uh, uh, I'll do another tutorial on that. But now, let's use a refracting instrument. And notice that I set the working distance to 150 because that is what I use since I have long uh, monkey arms. And uh, you can also set that to two if you have shorter arms. But we'll do the 150 because that's what I use. And it really doesn't matter as far as how you do retinoscopy. It really just matters at the end when you compensate for your working distance. Sorry about that, another interruption. But again, you know, I don't have a real patient sitting here getting all angry at me. This patient will wait forever and uh, that's okay. So, uh, where was I? Um, this is a plus cylinder refracting instrument. So let's get our first impressions. What do you see? I see against motion. Uh, right now with this uh, streak at 90 degrees. Whoa, against motion, but a lot more of it. So this is obviously, that reflex is very thin, uh, very fast moving, probably too fast to be honest with you but it's very thin it's it's kind of dim here oh much brighter much much brighter much wider so we know that this uh, Meridian is going to require a lot more minus power and this one is going to require a lot more plus uh, a lot less minus power so since we are working in a plus cylinder instrument we want to uh, we want to do the more minus Meridian first so let's go to that meridian and i'm not sure exactly what the axis is here but it's somewhere around 180 and yeah it's a lot of minus so let's get a lot of minus and keep going until that reflex widens it's getting brighter uh, that's looking pretty good let's add a little more minus uh, now we have width motion so that's too much still think there's a little width motion there Boy, that looks really neutral to me. What do, you, what do you think? I think that's pretty good. So let's go back to 90 degrees away. And 90, I feel like this is tilting this way just a little bit. So let's put it that way a little bit. And uh, first things first, what do we see? We see with motion, that's what we want. We neutralize the more minus meridian first. Um, when we switch to the other one, uh, since this one requires less minus, we should see with motion because we're going to need to add plus lenses to it. And since this is a plus cylinder instrument, that's what we have the ability to do. So let's get our uh, cylinder axis 
parallel with our streak. Yeah, I think that's just a little shy of 90. So let's put it right there. And let's add some plus sill. Do, 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 do. This guy, our girl, had a, a lot of astigmatism. Okay, I think that's pretty neutral. Let's add another one. Yeah, now we're getting a little bit of with motion. Against motion, sorry. This is so hard to talk through. Um, so, I think that looks pretty neutral. Let's uh, spin this around. Let's look at every angle. Let's make sure we had our axes about where we should have. I think it looks neutral no matter how I turn this. So, I think we did a great job here. Uh, so, what do we have? Well, we have lenses in this instrument that will show us a neutral reflex, which means that this light is focusing for this patient right at where we're standing holding our retina scope, which is at 66 centimeters or 150 working distance. We want to remove that because we want to know what lenses would make this patient see their best far away. So to remove a 150 working distance, we need to add minus 150. 450 plus 150, that's minus six. So I can do some mental math, but I like to just add it to the instrument by clicking, in my case, with a 150, clicking six times because six times quarter steps is 150. So let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have our minus six, 275, axis 85-ish. And uh, let's see how this compares to what this patient really has. So. Uh, we are going to type in the result, which has already been adjusted for working distance. 275, so I'm just reading these numbers, ooh, just reading these numbers right off the instrument. Minus six plus 2.75 axis, let's say, I'm gonna say 87, because I think, man, why can't I type? I think it's between 85 and 90, but let's find out if I'm right. We'll hit go and minus six plus 275, 89 was the real result. Uh, I got 87. I'm pretty proud of that. I was off by two degrees. Um, the simulator says that this patient will see a little worse in 2015. I can live with that. You know, uh, I'm probably not gonna be prescribing this unless it's a patient that I cannot get any other information about. There go the dogs again. Uh, probably my next step would usually be to refract this patient. And incidentally, that's why it's nice to put those six clicks, clicks of minus in because when you're done, you have their distance prescription in the instrument and you can just start re refracting afterwards. But uh, bottom line, I'm pretty happy with this. If I wanted to keep scoping, let's say I wasn't as close as I am here. If I wanted to keep scoping, I could keep doing that and just see, you know, where I went wrong. You know, if the axis was off, I can kind of recheck it and see, um, you know, verify for myself that the axis was what the uh, computer tells me it was. Uh, or at this point, I can just say I'm done and finish up. So thanks for tuning in, and I hope you learned a little bit of how to use the simulator, and I hope you maybe learned a little bit about retinoscopy at the same time. And uh, I guess that's all. Thank you.